and I know it. I've been here. I've been doing this shit. Ha 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 ha! When you see me in the crew, told me it ain't nothing new. I'm just chilling with the crew. Throw your hands and salute. When you see me in the crew, late night chain bright game tight so fly. I'm about to take flight. In the motherfucker, triple shots and henny. So a nigga probably drunk, stolen with the city. I said, Well, they make this monster. Um, when I do, I'm gonna make sure that they get it. Well, they make this monster. Um, when I do, I'm gonna make sure that they get it. Well, they make this monster. Um, when I do, I'm gonna make sure that they get it. Well, they make this monster. You know, I'm a hip hop artist in here in Chicago, Southside, born and raised. I'm a radio host. I'm a blogger. Um, and I'm a promoter. Just basically doing all this, you know, I can be my, my, my daughter, you know, so I can uh, provide a life for her that was, you know, better than the one that was like up there basically trying to make the way out of nowhere. Whereas Rob, uh, Southside, Hip Hop Morris, uh, Coast City Records, uh, VP and artist. Um, I've been doing music for probably about 15 years, so kind of embarrassed. <laughs> but uh, I've been doing music about 15 years, so, um, and professionally, like, you know, being outside, in front of other people, battles, showcases, uh, street performance, uh, city to city, that type of stuff. I've been doing that. So why you do it? Why? Uh, man, I couldn't tell you, man. I think it's the best thing for me, man. I've always been a good creative writer, even in school. Uh, I've always read at an accelerated level. Uh, my comprehension has always been off the charts, so like, I just feel like creative writing, shit, I always had a love for music, my parents loved music, soul, uh, 80s stuff, light rock, gangsta, all, anything my parents listen to, so just the writing and, you know, creativity and uh, the love of music and the crib, man, that I grew up in, I think it all just made the gumbo, you know what I'm saying, like, this is what you gonna do. I've been snatching mics from people since I was like five years old, so, real <laughs> Snatching mics. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's, that's it in a nutshell. What's going on, man? I'm P1. I'm an artist, promoter, performer, a little bit of producer sometimes, but I got out of that. But most importantly, um, you know, from the south side of Shy, why I do what I do is because I love music, man. I love making music. I love the creative process. And I jumped into the promotion side of the game after becoming an artist because I really didn't like how it was going on, particularly in my city with the shows that was going down and all that. So I needed an avenue to express myself creative, creatively in that form and in, in that part. So got out here to promote and hear the music I love, really, because I'm a fan of the music first. So I, I, I do it because I'm a fan and I get to put on and perform next to some of the people that I'm a fan of and that who, who music I love. So. Basically trying to trying to okay. reach out, I understand, okay. connect everybody okay. in the surrounding cities. You know, um, there's a lot of like-minded people out there who um, do the same thing that I do here in Chicago. Like to reach out with them, you know, connect connect the movements. You know, all these little um, small movements and make them into like one real big movement, so that um, you know when we want to. We can just press press one button, you know, and uh, put everybody on. Uh, just talent, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, local talent. I'm a little more than local in my head, you know, but just around the city, man. You know, I've been here for a while. Me and Bro always, you know, connected. We went to the little school arts together downtown. Uh, we wasn't in the same, I don't think we was in the same major, but we got a lot of the same friends and, you know, uh, 
then I heard his name um, just circulating just as far as networking and just the game period in the city. So when I found out that was bro, I'm like, man, you know, when and how, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I mean, it, it just was, it was just me getting on stage, man, and just putting it down for bro, man. You know what I'm saying? I brought, I think I probably brought about seven, eight people with me, you know what I'm saying? It just, I hadn't had a show in probably about two months. I've been prepping the Music for Money project just in the studio, post-production, mixing, uh, shooting videos, and uh, Bro said he needed to turn up, man. So, you know, that's, that's what we do lyrically. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I was just telling, man, I'm just a rapper, man. Nobody give a damn about no rapper. Well, how I started it was uh, reaching out oh. and linking up with uh, other artists online, you know, networking with them. Um, I actually. I'm actually uh, writing a book about you know how I network with all of the artists and my my second book called Digital Hustle Part Two that's due out early 2014. Uh, so basically networking with a lot of cats, you know, so, and you know, putting the same idea in their head of you know this, this bigger movement, you know, Midwest Broad Tour. So putting the tour together was, you know, it's, it's usually a long process. So this is actually the third tour that, that I've worked with and putting together. So it's always a long process. It's always tough, but every night that you have a show night is worth it. So it's just putting your head down, making a lot of phone calls, sending out a lot of emails and doing things like that. It's, it's, it's nothing sexy about it. I mean, the sexy part comes, you know, when you're on stage, when you got the show itself. But it's always just hard work, but you know, it's hard work that's rewarding that you get to see the real payoff of the work you put in. You get to see it in how many people show up in the crowd, how you rock them, and all that. So it's, it's something I love to do. It's something that I'm looking forward to doing again. And when we have the next leg of the Midwest vlog, too. I've been playing like a whole year putting that thing together, man. Like, like literally, um, it's basically a lot of. Uh, staying up late yeah. nights, uh, networking, tracking people down, trying to track down the right person, the right uh, company, the right organization to get involved with it as far as promotion on the ground. Uh, whether we go to Cleveland or we're trying to go to Iowa, or we're trying to go to Central Illinois or St. Louis, just tracking down the right people, you know, and just networking with them and, you know, offering something and not asking for something, you know. Um, so it was extremely hard. It took a lot of blood, sweat, tears, all that. Um, but we did it, you know, we, we did it, we doing it, and we're gonna continue to do it. It's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's the start of the tour, putting a tour together is never easy. It's, it's hard enough alone putting together one show, which December 14th, if you see this before, then. December 14th, 2013, we're doing Yuletide Raps out at the side bar, 167th in Richmond, out in Markham, Hazelcrest, areas right there on the border, so I don't know what city it is, but, um, you know, come on out to that. But, and, and putting the tour together, like I said, it's, it's hard enough to put on one show, so imagine times in that by five, 10, 15 shows, and that's the amount of work you really have to put in, and dealing with, with cats from other states and other, other uh, local local you know artists from their area, and maybe not having the, the chance to sit down and meet face to face, transacting all your business over phone and email, and making sure they're in the right place with the right money, and they promoting to their people and doing things the way you want to see it done. It's not an easy process, but my thought, you know, it's it's starting out to do it. You know, it's always just think about the end result. You know, anytime. I worry about how much work I have to do. I think about the satisfaction I get when I see a fan light up and buy my music or tell me that, you know, I rock the stage or tell me that this is the best show I ever seen in my town. This is the best hip hop show I ever seen in my town. So I get my satisfaction from that. So the work is 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 secondary to that feeling. Man, um, just bumping into you know go where and uh, uh, 
think UGTV was there. Bro did his UGTV uh, interview. Um, it was definitely a different demographic, man. It was, it, it was like, it was like just a variety of people in the crowd. So you know, anything that's in front of a, a different demographic or a different group uh, that's usually not hearing me is, is that's a bonus for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but to get to meet the bloggers, I can't even honestly remember um, the extra three or four different bloggers that was there posted up on the side with their info. But uh, I know I touched down, you know, had my pen and notebook, took notes, contacts, all that. Um, but it was just good, man, for exposure. Just, it's so hard, you know what I'm saying, around the city just to, yes, yeah, it's, it's easy for us to network, but you know, if you don't work with the net, then what you network for? You know what I'm saying? Which I say that to say around the city, a lot of people pass numbers around and give you the fake smile and hug and what's up, bro, and all that. But you know, when it comes time to get on stage or come time to break bread or come time to even play a record or mention a name elsewhere to take, you know, the craft or the talent elsewhere, that's where we lack it. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like a lot of people, you know, be flagging, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're really trying to spread this real. And that ain't that ain't what it is. Because you see what we got on TV. You see what we got on the internet. Like, it's a bunch of monkeys jumping around. So, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's a good experience, though. Midwest Ball Tour, Joe. He went in. Bro went in. So far, we, we've been to Milwaukee, and then we had a big, a big event here in Chicago at Club E, and then we went down with my, my people down there at Springfield, Illinois, in Central Illinois, and really had a big party down there, too. Um, a lot of people performed. Um, uh, Raz Rock, you know, one of one of the biggest performers um, here in Chicago. He rock, he won, he he rock. Um, Trey, hit rock here in Chicago. At Milwaukee, um, we had we had a lot of good action from Milwaukee also. Uh, Kia the rap princess hosted, and. Um, <laughs> Okay. Fire acts. I mean, you had Easy Money, um, Big Six, and uh, Emmett James really tore down the stage up in the middle. You see, you got that little but, uh, side. We had like, a real huge contest down in Springfield, Illinois. <laughs> it's like the biggest thing to hit like Springfield it. as far as hip hop community like ever. So that was that was kind of crazy. Um, but uh, my homeboy Uncanny, he hosted that. He put the whole thing together with uh, Sheezy. And uh, man, everybody just came together down there in Springfield, Illinois. You know, shout out to the homie Torch, Express Tuesdays. Um, had a lot of sponsors. The Elixir.com. Um, like, okay, man, Midwesthustlers.com. Uh, Onlyfortheal.com. Goeal.net. Go wear hiphop.com, of course, bangers.com. Um, the list of things is on and on about everybody who came together, uh, the common good. So, uh, salute to everybody. You know, if I missed anybody, don't be mad at me, man. Don't have a next uh, 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 documentary part two on the tour, so. I believe so, man, because really, really, we just wanted to um, to get the major players in, in every Midwestern city to know, you know, to, that, you know, acknowledge, you know, that we need to do something. First of all, acknowledge that, you know, it's segmented, you know what I'm saying, between city to city to city and it's only two hours away from each other. Secondly, I wanted to set out to uh, bring the Midwest really closer, you know, by getting these movements together and bloggers and radio hosts and DJs come together and by reaching out to everybody and, uh, you know, getting everybody on board. Awesome. We 
got like sponsors for the Midwest Vlog Tour. So that's it right there. Um, so that's that's the first thing is just basically um, recognizing all of the players on the chess, chess board. Now um, that we've accomplished that, I'm thinking we can move forward in the next next year. You know, we move a step forward further with um, you know just pushing the strong arm. You know what I'm saying? Just just taking over, like, you know, kicking in the door, you know, um, with the contacts that we have in place, the sponsors that we have in place, um, artists, the artists is dope, you know, it's, it's dope MCs here in Chicago, just like it is in Milwaukee, just like it is in Springfield, just like it is in Cleveland. So, just basically trying to get everybody on board, on one on board, and, uh, and just, just make some noise. So, so one thing I always set out to accomplish when doing a tour is definitely getting a wider range of exposure and not just for me but for whoever I'm on the particular tour with like I mean it's about bringing more music to more people in more places so did we accomplish that yes did we get it as big as we wanted it to I mean, I would honestly say, you know, no, it's, it's more work left to do. It's more more people that need to hear more music in more places. So with that said, I mean, I look forward to going, to going into it, you know, again and doing the second leg of the tour and, and bringing that same music to more places. So um, I think, you know, the next one's going to be going to be something that you're going to watch out, watch out for. Did I answer the whole question? Uh, what did I set out to accomplish? It? What was the feedback from the tour? Oh, and the feedback. So the feedback that we got, um, you know, the feedback we got was overwhelmingly positive. It's something that people want. Like all the artists involved seem to be really excited and really want to jump down and take their music to different places, different faces. Um, so for me, as an artist, the artist feedback is always huge to me. Always, always. So the artist, the fact that the artists were happy with the product we put together for the tour, that's A1 in my mind. And, and there's no artists without fans, of course. So the fans supporting with their dollars and coming out and following these guys on Twitter and, and, and uh, you know, becoming fans of new music, that's that's lasting effects and lasting feedback that, you know, I can't, that's lasting effects and lasting feedback that I'll continue to get even after the show and after the tours I've done. Like when people click and say, hey, I saw you at this show, or they click on a picture that they were at, or see somebody having a good time, that's lasting feedback that keeps coming that, that we love to get. So all in all, the, the, the feedback was overwhelmingly positive. What's next is the music. You know, I hit them with everything so far. Like, I hit them with all the tricks in the bag. Now it's time to, you know, empty out the bag and show them what really is in that bag, uh, which is some great music. You know, I'm sitting on a lot of hot music for a long time, um, just holding it, you know, just into the right time. And now that I got all my ducks in line, it's time to release the Make Another Monster. So, uh, it's a full length album, I'm going to drop it spring 2014, and uh, man, this is going to be dope, you know, I'm going to go on tour, we're going to have the Midwest Blog Tour um, 2014, uh, and around the same time, I'm going to release another book, uh, Digital Hustle Part 2, I'm kind of hoarse, y'all, so y'all got to bear with me, you know, screaming at the top of my lungs, my shows, you know, uh, but we're gonna release Digital Hustle Part Two, you know, uh, cause like everything that I did with the tour, uh, with the blog, with the radio, all of that's gonna elevate. You know, it's just gonna elevate and elevate and elevate in 2014. But then too, everything that I did to start those movements, I'm gonna put all of that in the book, Digital Hustle Part Two. So it's gonna be documented. But uh. Basically, it's, there's really no limit to what we can do. The whole Midwest. Uh, music for money, man. That's uh, you said next year. That's this year, man. Um, no deadline, man. You know, deadlines is bread oriented, dog. We 
dealing with them bread issues, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, nah, man, I'm all post-produced. I'm all mixed up. I'm just picking my sequence now. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna send off my, well, I got my artwork on it. My part, <laughs> my track listing with my graphic design. And uh, I'm probably gonna do a disc makers, man. And just do like a little disc makers run. Um, and just get it out here, you know, uh, before the end of the year. So these people can be seeing it in my hand when I get off stage at these performances. Hopefully, wish I could have had it at the uh, Midwest Bar Tour. But I just was in the middle of the fire, man. I had some producers that kind of took a little bit long on the mixing and file sharing and all that stuff. So things took a little, little bit long. But um, the Music for Money project, definitely. Uh, I got three videos already ready. I'm just trying to push this first initial video uh, and keep my order true uh, so people kind of get the point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, after Music for Money, I'm supposed to be doing a, a little secret project now with a, with a heavy hitter man around the city. Man. I, I really don't want to say the name, but uh, say it's it. supposed to be. Say I don't want to say it, man, because he uh, me and Bro. Nah, but <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, nah. <laughs> nah, but uh, three hundred. I'm supposed to be doing something with a heavy hitter man, with with with, with like a heavy hitter street producer, like a whole project. You know what I'm saying? Um, so hopefully that'll come um, if he don't keep flaking on me. Uh, but forget all that music for money, man. Money for music before the end of the year. Shout out to the Midwest Blog Tour. Um, we've been doing this for too long, man. We gotta put it in their face, man. It's time for every everything. We need everything on camera, everything on deck, everybody on deck. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Babyface Monster. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Midwest Blog Tour, P1. Uh, shout out to all the artists that rocked that night, man. Um, sis from Milwaukee, man. She came to keep, and killed it. What's sis name from Milwaukee, uh, bro? What's sis name from Milwaukee? What was her name? Uh, that's uh, uh, Miracle. Mir Miracle? Yeah. She was dope. She was yeah. dope. Oh, you know, she was dope. She the rapper. She the rapper. That's right. She was dope. Um, there was like two other people that was dope, but you know, me and bro got it in that night. I can't really, can't really remember everything. <laughs> but uh, man, I appreciate the opportunity. Babyface Monster, P1, uh, Midwest Blog Tour, Raz Rock Coast and Records, Music for Money. Check me out, facebook.com slash Raz Rock, R A S R O K, twitter.com slash R A S R O K. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Everything, SoundCloud, uh, R-A-S, R-O-K, um, everything, R-A-S, R-O-K, MySpace, same thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, appreciate the camera time, cameraman, we rocking. Uh, watch out for my car when you pull out, man, don't, don't hit my car again. <laughs> my time pieces vary, my chick Halle Berry, my flow legendary, and the Chevy playing scary, I'm a beast. How let the moon